everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews! And today we will be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Core Class Beast Machines Cheetor. Now, I know, I know a lot of people have had their negative thoughts on Beast Machines, but me personally, Beast Machines was actually a fun show to watch. I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. End of story. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Beast Machines is getting some love in this Legacy line, so... Yeah, it's a very neat figure in my opinion. Uh, not perfect, but a very cool figure nonetheless. But before we take a deeper look at Cheetor here, we're going to show us some various images of the packaging itself. So let's get it on, man. Let's go! And here we have Core Class Cheetor fully transformed into his Cheetah mode. And yes, Beast Machines are back. Uh, Beast Machines is back! in toy form and I'm so glad that they finally put out a Beast Machines figure in the Legacy line. I've been wanting the Legacy line to put in Beast Machines stuff and they finally did it! Hasbro finally did it! <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so incredibly happy. Um, So yeah, so here is Cheetor in Beast Mode and um, yeah, the Beast Mode is not that great unfortunately. Um, I don't remember him being that scrunched up in the show, um, I do remember that his cheetah mode was all tall and lean and like tall straight limbs, uh, nothing was bent, all weird <laughs> and and this guy, when, when you put his head down all the way, he's just looking down on you, he's just like looking down every time and that's just weird, that's just unfortunate, that is so unfortunate, so I, so I prefer to lift his head up a little bit, whereas there's a stopping point there, so, so that that does kind of make it look better, but but yeah, um, the, the beast mode is definitely the weakest of the two modes so far. But but it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a closer look at the details here. We got the head sculpt there, and the head sculpt looks 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 aight. It looks fine. Um, one thing is missing is the lack of paint. You know, it, it's it's lacking so much paint on the face sculpt. But you know, the spots look good. He yeah, has black for the eyes, black for the nose, a bit of stripage going on here more spots in his neck area and his neck is basically the robot mode head <laughs> which is which is pretty funny um <clears throat> got some more spots on the shoulders here a little bit of orange paint and these are the weapons stored in beast mode and uh that looks pretty cool uh you got spots on the legs as well and the other the hind legs he has his tail he has his little tail <laughs> he has a little tiny tail and um a little bit of orange as well at the toes there um, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's a simple figure, it's a basic figure, it's a core class, so, what do you expect? But, but yeah, um, not too bad of a cheetah mode, but definitely could've been better. Uh, the visible fists, yeah, not, 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 not that big of a fan of the visible fists in cheetah mode, that's just, that's just so odd. But it's a core class, what else do you expect? I can't expect too much from a core class. Um, he does have some articulation in beast mode, uh, the head can actually move up and down, but if you move it up all the way, eh, very disjointed, it looks weird, but eh, anyway, <laughs> so just, it can move up and down a little bit. Uh, the front legs, uh, they are supposed to stay, stay tabbed in, but you can un actually untab it, and you can get the the free range of movement here for the uh, front legs here, and there is a ball joint right there as well, uh, you could move down the, the the, the, the claws if you want to but hey it's a thing you can do but yeah this is meant to stay tabbed in but if you want to pose him you are meant to uh, untap all that whoops and, I, and I, I removed the sword I removed the blade I'm so sorry Cheetor I'm so sorry but anyway so yeah it's supposed to there you go. and the blade just came off again how many times must you do this Cheetor how, must, how, how many times do you must you do this to me I can't really see the slot. I, I can't see the slot. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. Where's the slot? There we go. There's it. There it is. There we go. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> now for the hind legs. Um, you can use this joint if you really want to. You can move the tail up and down. Uh, the There is a swivel right there as well. You can untab the, the, the hind legs to make them uh, make them move move back a little bit more move forward a little bit more you know they're supposed to stay tabbed in and you can actually uh move out the hind legs if you really want to that's a thing 
that is a thing that you can do. Uh, the the uh, the knees uh, they are basically on a double hinge right here, so you can straighten them out however you want. So I don't know how you can actually uh, put him into the standing like the uh, the the straight pose uh, where he's all tall and lean. I don't think this figure can do that. So yeah, that is quite impossible for this figure. But hey, it is what it is. So. Not too poseable in beast mode, unfortunately, but but still, it's still a neat looking looking a little neat looking little fella. So yeah, it's it's not too bad, but definitely could have been better. Definitely could have been better, but, but there we go. That's it. That's pretty much it there. So let's bring in some size comparisons, and of course the only comparisons. <laughs> and of course the only comparisons that really matter here are with his other selves. So we got the Studio Series Forge Class Cheetor from Rise of the Beast, and we got the Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor from Beast Wars. And you can see how the three cheetahs look together. Um, yeah, these these two definitely look better in cheetah mode than, than this guy does, but, but, but hey, I have a collection of three cheetahs. Three Cheetors, yay! Um, I wish I had the Cyberverse Deluxe Class Cheetor, but I unfortunately do not, but hey, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, um, but um, as far as having a full cheetah collection goes, uh, I really need to get the I I I I need Hasbro to make the Transmetal One version of Cheetor and the Transmetal Two version of Cheetor. That way, I can have a full collection of mainline Cheetor figures. So, so yeah. So since I have the three versions here, the Beast Wars version, the Beast Machines version, and the Studio Series version. I, uh, please, do th do the Transmetal versions of Cheetor, please Hasbro, please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, so, <laughs> I know it's gonna take years to make them, but please make them, please make them, so, anyway, so that's pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons right here. And so, without further ado, let us transform Cheetor into his robot mode. Now, transformation, as you can guess, it is very, very simple. So, first things first, I wanna remove, remove the blades. And get them off, put them off to the side right now, and uh, we shall get started. So, take the tail, we bring this up a bit, and then bring all this back, and then this will tab in right in there, like so. Take the head and bring this back all the way, and then we can take the robot mode head and rotate them, rotate it around, and then take the legs, just, just straighten the legs however you want. And bring them down, bring them down, just straighten the legs however you want, and there we go, legs all done. <laughs> um, the arms here, just untap them from the sides, and bring the claws back. And there we have an arm all done, very easy, very simple, very basic, there we go. So just untap the other arm, and bring this back, all the way, like so, and boom! There we have Cheetor, in fully transformed into his robots. Mode! Uh, it's very hard to get him to stand, but there we go! Really? Really? Really, Cheetor? You really want to do this to me? You seriously want to do this to me? Oh my gosh, Cheetor. You don't, you don't want to stand. How dare you? <laughs> <coughs> This guy just doesn't want to stand at all. He 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 just doesn't. Okay, he's he, you know he got a chicken leg him a little bit. So, but there we go. That is it. That is it. That is it. The transformation is very simple, very basic. So, so there we go. There is Cheetah. The not Cheetah. Oh my gosh, my brain. Cheetor fully transformed into his robot mode. And I really think this is I blah, 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 I really think the design of this Cheetor. You know, I thought you know at first. The designs in Beast Machines were very, very odd, they were very weird, but as I watched the show, you know, I've watched the show a lot of times, and um, and the designs have really grown on me, and I thought this was a pretty cool design for Cheetor, so I thought it was pretty cool, you know, him having long, long, uh, <laughs> long legs, I thought it was pretty neat, I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty interesting, so, so yeah, he looks pretty accurate to the show, looks pretty good, looks pretty good, yeah, it looks... Yeah, it looks quite nice. It looks quite nice. It's very yellow, because that's Cheetor, so there we go. So let's get closer so we can take a look at the head sculpt. And the head sculpt, um, <laughs> his, his eyes, um, his eyes, they look very shocked. 
He's like, <laughs> you got some nice green for the, uh, the chin there. For the, uh, there we go. The little back on the nose. A bit of uh, purple on the on 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 the, on the on, underneath the eyes. But the eyes, man, the eyes are so creepy. They're <laughs> they're so creepy. Oh my gosh. Um, and again, definitely could have used a bit more paint, but at least he has some paint on his chest. You know, some gold paint on the belly. Got the orange paint right here at the waist, and a little bit of green paint on the chest. The, the spots there, and uh, that's pretty much it for paint. You know, there's not much to talk about in terms of paint. So, yeah, all in all, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good. So I'm I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So now. As far as articulation goes, you know, there's much, not much going on here, so the head can rotate a full 360, not really on the ball joint, um, the arms can rotate a full 360, can move in and out a little bit, uh, there is a, a ball joint at the elbow, so there's an elbow joint right there, um, nothing at the waist, but if you want to untap his waist, uh, it, it kind of gives him an ab crunch, so if you untap the waist, uh, so it can give him an ab crunch if you really want to, so, but... He's not meant to have an ab crunch, but you could give him an ab crunch if you really want to. Uh, the legs can move out that far, can move back that far, can only move out that far. He has a thigh swivel, and again the knees, they're on a, they're on a double hinge, so you can actually use these hinges however you want to make him scrunch down even more, but you can just display him like that if you really want to. But, but there we go, that's pretty much it for the articulation. So. There we go. Um, now he can hold his weapons, can wield the weapons. So let me take his weapons, and there we go. So you can actually have him hold the weapons in his hands. I'll just plug them in, like so. And just plug them in like that. And there we go. There is Cheetor holding his weapons. But there's one other thing they can do with the weapons. Yes, they can combine together to make the double bladed sword. So what you do is. Uh, you just take one side here and just take take this. Wait, 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 wait. You want to take the uh, this this side right here. There we go. There we go. And there you have the uh, the double bladed sword. So you can actually put put into his hand, and he can hold it like that. That's pretty cool. I I quite dig that. I quite dig that. So, but me personally, I'm just gonna have him hold two swords as usual. So just. Let's remove these. There we go. Let's put this into his hands. Put this into his hands. There we go. Put it into his hands. Put it into his hands. And there we go. There is Cheetor all armed up with his weapon. So let's bring in some size comparisons. And here we have the Core Class Beast Machines Cheetor compared with the other Cheetors that I own. We got the Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor from Beast Wars, and we got the Studio Series. Rise of the Beast Voyager class, Cheetor. Yeah, Cheetor has uh, yeah has different size classes here: Core class, Deluxe class, Voyager class. <laughs> so I really hope uh, we get the uh, the two transmetal versions of Cheetor from Beast Wars in the future. Really hope so. I I really love those designs. So please, 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 Hasbro, please. Please make them. Please make them in the future. Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please. But anyway, so there we go. Yeah, very nice collection of Cheetors here. So there we go. That's pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy United Core Class Beast Machines Cheetor. And a very cool figure, in my opinion. You know, I I never really owned a Beast Machines Cheetor figure before. You know, I, I have never owned one. But finally, I get to own one through the Legacy line, and that makes me very, very happy because I love the Beast Machines show, okay? I really enjoyed the Beast Machines cartoon. I thought the story was pretty smooth. It worked well, and uh, there were pretty interesting designs here and there, and, um, you know, I don't really hate any of the Beast Machines designs, personally. Um, yeah, um, the only other Beast Machines figure I do have is a, uh, is a Viacon Tankor, the Viacon General Tankor from the Thrilling 30 line. Um, I didn't bring him in for the comparisons today, but that's okay. That's that's all right. Um, but but yeah, very neat figure. Um, why Cheetor got a core class? I don't understand why he should have been the deluxe. That way they could get the engineering to be more intuitive. But it is what it is. I'm I'm still glad. I'm still happy that Beast Machines is getting some love in the Legacy line. I'm very very happy about that. So that means the future. 
are we going to finally have a Botanica figure from Beast Machines? Because she never really got a toy, so I really hope Botanica gets a toy in Beast Machines from Beast Machines, you know, in the Legacy line or in the in the new Generations line that's coming out next year. So I really hope, I really hope that we will we'll get a new Botanica figure, please. She desperately needs it. Um, because I loved her design. I thought it was pretty interesting that it's a plant transformer. So yeah, <laughs> but. But there you go. So, but but moving back to Cheetor here, yeah, the robot mode looks pretty good. Uh, the beast mode, eh, it's eh, it's it's eh, it's a little bit eh. Um, it's definitely the weakest mode of the two modes. The robot mode definitely really shines here, in my opinion. You know, it's a pretty clean transformation, although the uh, the cheetah head is just there. Um, <laughs> but overall, it's a clean transformation. I mean, the transformation is very simple. It's very basic. So nothing all. Nothing much happening here. <laughs> it's not really that intuitive, but it's still a fun transformation nonetheless. It still works pretty well. Um, the swords. I like the, how the swords store in the the beast mode. I, I like that. I I like that. I like how the uh, the swords combine into uh, like a like a double bladed weapon. So that's I think that's pretty cool. Uh, articulation is pretty decent for a core class. Uh, he's probably missing the ankle tilts, but it's a core class, so I'm not really expecting too much. Um, <laughs> the funny thing about this figure is that the, the eyes, the eyes in robot mode, just they look they look like Ugh! <laughs> he looks shocked, man. He looks really shocked. And that is creepy. That is just so creepy. He's like, his eyes are just wide open, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's just shocked that his, uh, that, that his buddy Rhinox was Tankor. I'm like, Tankor, is that you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah. Um, paint wise, definitely could have been better. You know, he's, he's missing, he's missing a lot of paint decals on him, but. Molding-wise, he still looks pretty good in my opinion. So, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 5, I think I'm going to give him a solid 3 out of 5. You know, 60% for this figure. It's only the beast mode that's kind of just weighing it down a little bit because the beast mode doesn't really look like... Doesn't, it really doesn't look anything like the, uh, the actual model from the show, but it is what it is. But overall, though, it's a fun toy, and I'm really glad to have this guy in my collection here. So... Now, I did pick this guy up from one toy, but if you want to get a Cheetor of your own, uh, look around. Um, and if you're a Beast Machines fan like me, definitely pick him up because, you know, it's been a long time since we've had a Beast Machines, since, since, since we've had a proper Beast Machines figure in toy form, so, yeah. But there we go. That's, that, there we go. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will never miss any of my future videos. And you can always check out my legacy reviews playlist for any videos I may have missed. So, I will post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So, there you have the Transformers. Uh, Legacy United Core Class Beast Machines Cheetor, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out, to the other one, and I'll see you guys next time. I am transformed. Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.